Hello, good friends. I'm G1042.0, oh, and today I am somehow doing my mega review number four. So, um, I have not done a mega review since 2017, and I am not even sure if this would be considered a mega review because in my third or second mega review, I reviewed like 40 things. And that, that was considered mega, but in the first one, I had like nine, ten things. So we're kind of reviewing to the old style. And um, I figured I'd do this because I am never going to review these things. Like, uh, let's be honest, I don't think I would have got time to actually do these individually. So why not show them here so you can actually have documentation of them? So um, essentially, this is everything I have gotten after Christmas. Basically that. We got some toys here, book, um, VHS right there, um, and that's basically it. So, um, I'm not going to delay too much, and I am literally just going to get started. So, I'm, I'm gonna go, um, start with this one. So, this is the Amber Water Timer, and you may not recognize it at first, and I definitely didn't, but, um, it's actually... The water timer from Baby Newton, and that I think the oval scene maybe, um, because Four Seasons Winter was playing. But um, if you take a closer look, oh, and... it, it kind of looks like it. I don't know what Bay Einstein um did to the um like film or at all, um. I, I might put a picture of what, or you are, you kind of already know it is, do your own research, but, um, it's the water ti um, timer, and, like, I like the water timers a lot, in Bay Einstein, I really want the Neptune one, and, um, it'll, it'll probably show up one day, because I don't think it's super rare, but, um, this one is a little rarer than the Neptune, so I guess, very good to have it, um, I got this from Mr. Ten, actually, um, so, shout out to him. I guess shout out. He has it on eBay page. Um, if you look up Baby Einstein, you'll probably find his page eventually. Um, so, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Thanks for him to sell this to me. It's pretty cool. I, I don't know what the, I don't know how I'm going to display it or do anything really. And I'm, I, I'm still really confused. How, how, how is this in Baby Einstein? I mean... I guess they put a yellow background behind it, and you can kind of see yellow liquid behind here. It's just, yeah, let's shake it. Ooh, la la. Hold on. Oh, dear. That doesn't look so good. Well, I'm going to leave this here, and we'll continue. Um, So let's review next. Yeah, Macarena Dancer. So, if you didn't recognize this, that's okay. Um, it's from Baby's First Sounds. That is probably why you don't. Um, but it is probably the most memorable toy in Baby's First Sounds. And aside from the Baby Concerto, I'm still um, a little sad about that. Because I, I got the Baby Concerto. I got it from eBay. Then it got damaged in the warehouse. And then the seller ghosted me when I said, just send it anyways. Uh, I got a refund. Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know how to feel. But... Um, this is the Macarena Dancer, um, it didn't really work at first, well, because it wasn't really supposed to work, I got it for 12 bucks, and it was, it, it's barely working, um, I probably, there, it was like two and a lot, one was not working, one was partially working, now, I should, can now, I probably should have got the not working one, because if it was a battery problem, uh, that would have been, that would have been very good, like my Playful Circus Seals, um, it was labeled as broken, but they didn't put a battery in it, oops, um, but yeah, um, I had a bit of problems with this, so I actually went inside and, um, you know, did some stuff. Then, um, the wires that connected, you can kind of see here, I kind of had to take everything off, but the wires that connected, like, the battery to, like, the actual toy, um, it, it fell, like, it ripped off, so, um, me and my dad had to solder, um, some, you know, wires in here, so, um, yeah, it, it works, you know, much better now. It's a, it's a mess inside, I can assure you. Um, well, you're not going to be seeing it inside because all you need to see is this guy. And I actually dislodged a head. Now it's um, 
you know, a little better. Um, I don't know what to do about this. Let's see what he does. He's supposed to put his hands a lot, up, a lot more. Okay, let, let's hear the whole song. And it's in a different pitch, I'm pretty sure, so... That's got to be right, thank you. Yeah, I really... I have no idea what to do about that one. And, like, that's not getting fixed ever, so we're just... We'll just put it back. I tried, though. I definitely tried. And can we... Okay. Um, next one. Ah, yes. Um, so some people call this one, it, well, it used to be, one of the rarest toys in a uh, being Noah. <laughs> the zebra. The zebra Gertie ball by Small World Toys. Um, yeah. Okay, you know what? Actually, this probably wasn't the rarest toy in being Noah. I just realized there's one we have later, no pictures of. It's like some whale thing. But regardless, it's pretty rare because I'm pretty sure there's like two pictures of it. And, um, the fact that this is one of the mother of rare toys really um I don't, I don't know i really don't know what to say it's the most playful ball in the world thanks um gertie wild I, I don't know why i'm reviewing the box but there you go there's the actual ball um contains one nine ball of straw so i had to blow it up with a straw that was very fun thank you showing you how to do it and here's the other ball in being noah it looks a little bigger Maybe because I'm looking at it the wrong way. I definitely had this when I was younger. That's pretty cool. Um, most playful. I said that again. Um, yeah, 2003. I I have no other words to say about this. And in the lot, I actually did get another ball. Haven't opened it yet. But uh, apparently it looks like this. That's pretty cool. So here's the ball. Um, yeah. If I wasn't sitting down, I can do cool things with this ball. It doesn't bounce, like, too much. Just what you'd expect out of, like, a average size ball. It's, um, it's like a mini basketball, I guess, size. You could say that. Like, three quarters of a basketball, maybe, if you want to be, um, like, specific. I don't, I don't even know. Um... Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. And then it's it's a pretty cool toy, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, what's next? Sure, Bobo Gorilla. And there's my display. Okay, Bobo Gorilla. Um, well, technically, in the toy chest, is called Go Go Gorilla. I don't think it's called Go Go Gorilla. I don't know how you mess up Go Go Bobo. Maybe there's a different version. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's by Metro Toys, but I got this from Mr. Ten, so this is pretty cool. Um, I so like the weird thing. It didn't work when he tested it, but I did a little things to it, and it it kind of works. Like it it, it partially works. Um, I'll show you. Here's the box. Very cool. Here's the box. The box. The box. Um, there you go, showing me the batteries. Um, the bottom, I guess. Not really here for the box. And here, I put them upside down because, yeah, oh, Jesus, so oh, Jesus, okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on, I don't know. So here's the battery compartment. Um, I won't show too much in there, but you can see I put tin foil on it. It's, it's, ah, come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I did a little work in there, and then, yeah. Ugh. I don't know how to get him really to move. He just stays there. Yeah. I think he was moving earlier when the first time I did it. I'm not going to try it, but I think it's because I'm on display, yeah. Um, he was definitely moving his, yeah, okay, I'm not going to mess with that, but that's, what he looks like, and... Ah, yes, and now he is. Ah, yeah. Also, I should mention... The off switch does not work. So he literally runs. 
if he has batteries in it, so there, there's no point in, uh, freaking here. So, um, we're taking that. And that's, that's why I leave him in the box. So he will go back in the box. You won't get to see Bobo Gorilla for a while. Or again, I, I don't know how to deal with this situation. But it, it's a pretty cool toy. Um, so I'll, I'll probably figure out something soon. But, um, yeah. Um, let's see. But, uh, okay, okay, come on. But, honestly, sometimes in the middle of the night, he does go off. So, um, that's scary in itself. So, let's grab this thing. Okay, so, um, no, I'm kidding. Um, this is the egg hen. Um, this is from Numbers Nursery. I don't know. I, I, I didn't know what to expect here. I got it for pretty cheap, like, I think $11, um, you know, for their toy. Um, it, it's, so, it's like one of those clacker things. So, I noticed I used to have, like, an instrument. It was, like, a clacker thing by LP, or I don't even know. What it says by it, I, I recognize this logo, so it's like an actual instrument, um, and you know, uh, it's basically just in the form of an egg, and you just have stuff printed on it. Um, I don't have much to say about this toy, and you can just leave this rolling. And actually, if I, like, shake my hand, like, a little, it, like, still goes. Like, I'm barely moving my hand. And sometimes when I stand still, he kind of, like, does it, but he doesn't, like, clack. Why would anybody want to have this toy? <sighs> okay. Um... Next thing, let's actually, you know what, actually, let's be cool and go in order. This is the Tornado Lamp. I got this for 12 bucks, and it is probably the best deal I have gotten on any toy ever. In fact, you know, I got the Kangaroo Puppet for $5, like in 2017. So, maybe it's this or that, but these are usually really expensive, and I was super happy to get this actually, like, cheap. Um, I don't care if it's rare anymore or not, because it looks cool. I'm not sure what, like, variant this is. I mean, this might be the Mozart variant, partially. I don't know what they did, like, to it, but I will show you its motion. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, here you go. Here's... A tornado lamp and it will go it will all right Pretty cool okay here you go here's the freaking tornado lamp maybe this is the no oil variant i'm not sure um it's by ken arts i'm pretty sure it's really cool i have to set it up somewhere um it might I think it's supposed to have a top. And it's definitely not, you know, a tornado variant, where it looks like a tornado. But, um, or rocket, sorry. Um, yeah, you know, there's a tornado in there, so. I'll plug this one out. You get to see no more rocket tornado. No more Sonata for tornado. So, oops. Anyways, no more toys. Um, we got two more things. Um, I'll save my favorite for last. Um, <laughs> I type music box. I got this because I've never seen it in a while, and sometimes, you know, like, a little expensive. I don't... It, it is probably not rare at all, but it's it's quite a cool toy. So, it's one of those play song um, things. So, of course, it's got to play a song. Guess what? So, you see this mirror. Hello. Where's my hand? Um, let's just pick... This has to be swan, like... Nope. Yeah. It's it's 
terribly loud. Um, and I'm definitely not going through all of them. Actually, no, here, actually, here's what I'll do. So here's Playtime Music Box. Here's Bahaha. Ha Ha. Um, it's a hippo. It's weird. Um, ran by a person that has Moo in their name. Very cool. Um, surely it will tell. Or no, on the back, I guess it does. Here's things. So let's see if I can guess. Baby McDonald. Wow, so McDonald has the fire. Um, no idea. Son, no idea. I don't even know. There's me. Um, Baby Monet. What happened to you? Jeez. Okay. Uh, Bahaha again. Um, geez. Well, you got some tip toes. Something. Baby Newton playing the drums very normal. Um, the most overused baby Beethoven freaking pose. It's tailbone for the chair. That's interesting design. And then, of course, yes, last one. Random cat sleeping. And then this thing will have its mother. And then we're just going to put a PNG of a ladybug right there. Very cool. Um, big outlay on just a thing, I guess. Um, with the dimming of daylight. Baby McDonald calls a farewell moo. Wow, ironic. To ladybug, duck, red dog, and you. Red dog. No questions. Um, so, anyways, here's the songs. Um, we got Own McDonald. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, um, let's see if they make any. Nope. Uh, no. No. Um, music problems, unless. Yeah. Nope. Dang it. Because there's one book that said, Box Ode to Joy. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know what to say about this one. Well, no, I'd have a lot to say, a lot to say about it. Um, 2000, it doesn't say a date on here. It might have in the beginning. If you can look at it. It's probably 2004, 2005. Oops, got cut off. But um, anyways, it's probably 2004, 2005, 2006. Okay, so it was after Monet came out. So I guess they just decided to mess up his design. But anyways, I'll go through all the songs partially um there's the stop button um i guess sorry it's right here so um it prevents me from dying of sound so here's the first oh okay here's the second oh very very nice song uh it's i think that's furent or something okay Oh, what the hell? That's a, the wise old. Very cool. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I don't want it to go out for too long. That's actually a cool one. What the heck? Okay. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, these songs are okay. No, it isn't, actually. I don't, I don't even know. I'm not going to guess. We have heard this one. Yeah. Density of our song. Jeez! Okay. We got Beethoven symbol. Fair play to Melody. Very cool. Nice. Um, here's the next one. Symphony Italian? Wow, okay. Where's Swan Lake? I don't know if Swan Lake. I think... I'm not sure if we heard that one. No, we haven't. Um, where's Swan Lake? Maybe that was Swan Lake? Okay, hold on. Let's figure out what's Swan Lake. Oh, okay. So I just made a... Oh, uh, okay, oops, okay, well, DJ can't do songs. So anyways, here's the last one. This is the Baby Mozart, um, VHS. It's Baby Mozart in the Sealed. Well, okay, so if you know VHSs, you can tell it's a little off, and it's a little bit right, so that means Alliance Atlantis. So, this is, yeah, Baby Mozart. I'm, I'm surprised. I, I, they didn't give me, you know, like a back cover of this, so it was it wasn't really a risk because you can tell 
with lines and minus because it looks so weird. So yeah, FHD minus and minus blah blah blah. Visit the Alliance Alliance website. Here's B Mozart. Let's see, like side. Here's the other side. This is my okay third English Canadian Alliance and minus VHS because I'm pretty sure I have Van Gogh, um, Mozart now, and then um. Einstein. Yep, that's the other one I have. And because I have two other ones, actually sitting right here. Hello. Um, I'm actually working on VHS ripping, so maybe I'll actually have to get an opening for that. Oh yeah, I actually took that. I can, that's a long story, but oh wait, I haven't forgot about this. Even though if I upload this to YouTube, I am like 99% sure it will get blocked. The opening. That is. Um. So yeah. Um. That's basically um, all about this, but I'm actually going to unseal it for you because I'm such a nice person, right? Why wouldn't I unseal it for you? This is entertainment. And I actually haven't had time to unseal it, so we're going to see what's in here. There is 100% more packets in here, unless there is, that'd be rare. Um, so, oh geez, okay. Well, I don't recognize this thing at the bottom. It says, Art Sears are too free. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think the inside is just about the same. Um, oh, maybe, maybe there's a, maybe there's some new thing. <sighs> okay. Whoops, we're having trouble. Anyways, um, oh, never mind. Okay, we're get it's, it's jammed in there. Well, I'm not surprised. Yep, nothing in there. But I have the tape, obviously. Um, Bay Mozart, of course, never played. Three eleven. I don't know what to do with that. May March eleventh. I really don't know. Um, but it should have to date. Here, no. Okay. Well, I mean, it's two thousand. Late two thousand. It actually might be two thousand one, because this definitely plays late two thousand. I. <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. So, jeez. I probably should have kept that sealed. But, regardless. We are done here. So, that's basically all I had to do today. Um, to review. Um, I don't know if I'm getting other things. Well, I probably will. But, um... Nothing, um, or right now that's arriving right now, so it'll probably be, I don't know what the next review will be. I still have some stuff to do, so I might upload some random thing, some, some random video that's now on YouTube, because, uh, my last video was to Facebook, um, the Facebook, uh, B. Einstein puppet shows. Those are cool. I actually do have been on YouTube for a while, at least in a full video. So, um, yeah, um, Plus, I'm DJ1024 2.0, signing out.